And more than a dozen schools, by the way, are closed across the area as a result of the weather today. Some switching to remote learning, which makes it super easy. Others fully canceling classes, having a snow day. So you can see all the schools delaying and closing at the bottom of your screen or also inside the WCNC app, which, by the way, is free to download. So without further ado, let's go to Larry Sprinkle. Larry, you've warned us all week this is coming, and now it's finally here. Winter storm system is in the Carolinas. We take a look at Uptown Charlotte. It's overcast there. We've got uh, mainly just gray sky and some rain here in the Charlotte metro area. So with rain here, rain, snow, sleep this morning. We've got some snow showers later this afternoon and then dangerous driving tomorrow morning as everything freezes over. First one Doppler radar. So very light rainfall, Charlotte metro area. Uh, just to the southwest of here, I would say uh, near Pine Belong, uh, uh, 485 there. You may see some sleet over there on along 485 over in western Mecklenburg County. Light rain across areas in the Palmetto State, down towards Chester, uh, along Highway 74 in Shelby. Light rain. Once you get into uh, areas around Lincoln, and this is our enhanced snowfall radar. You're in Lincoln County getting some snow showers up there. Very light snowfall uh, around the Hickory area, and then a little bit heavier precipitation once you get into the North Carolina mountains. But you can see all the precipitation that is out there. We're going to zoom in and show you the high country. You can see up around Boone, some snow showers there around blow, uh, Blowing Rock. Definitely some snow falling there. Totals today in the mountains, four to eight inches, anywhere from about three to five inches. That, that would be across areas from Morganton over towards areas around Lenore, just north of uh, Hickory. Uh, Lincoln to Statesville, two to three inches, and maybe in the Charlotte area as we get towards late afternoon, half an inch to inch of snowfall here. We're going to stay in the mid to upper 30s with that precipitation this morning in the form of mainly just rain here, maybe mixing with just a little bit of sleet out there this morning. Downtown Bloor, it's beautiful. And down, that's a winter wonderland in downtown Blowing Rock, North Carolina. And standing right in the middle of all of it is Chris Mulcahy. That's a beautiful sight to see. Uh, standing in a winter wonderland. I'm not going to sing this song. I'll let you do that. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, uh, I, I'll spare everyone, Larry. But no, the lights are still up here, and it really is gorgeous. I'm turning into a snowman. Been here for about five minutes, and it's accumulating on me. So the snow rates have picked up. We just had a truck that drove by. It was swiveling as it was trying to get up this incline. So definitely showing some slick conditions. But here on the roads, stepping out because everything is safe right now. It's been mainly plow trucks thus far. When the first snow came, it was more of a wet, slushy snow. Then it was followed by more of a dry snow. Now we're starting to see those flakes stick together. This is the snow that actually adds up a little bit more. But of course, I'm a child. I also have to demonstrate that this is excellent snowball snow because it's really sticking together even with a microphone in your hand. So great for the kids when this does come to fruition. But it's adding up pretty quickly. We've already seen about two inches. Willie, I'm so sorry about that. We are seeing about two inches right now on the ground. I easily could see about another two to four by the time this event is completely done. But we're looking at slick conditions. I would say the worst drive was the drive up. On 321, as I mentioned earlier, you saw the right side of the road completely snow covered and then everything was snow covered the higher and higher you get up the mountain so yes it is beautiful right now with the lights flickering and the snow coming down but certainly driving around especially on that slight incline not the best drive so drive safe everyone but if you love the snow enjoy it because this is the first big one of the season now let's head back to charlotte to see what's going on for the roads with ruby Dirk. Good morning, good morning. Chris, be safe out there. Drive slow. That is the word of the day, especially if you're about to head out anytime soon. Let's talk about some of the accidents that we're looking at. The first in Cabarrus County, Cold Springs Road at Cold Spring Road South. We have an accident at that intersection that's causing some delays. If you're not familiar with this area, it's right near Cold Springs Preschool. In fact, Independence whoops, Boulevard near... There we go. Looks like we're having a little technical difficulty. At Woodway Hills Drive, we do have an update for you. That accident definitely involving a FedEx tractor trailer. There are crews on scene, CMPD to be exact. However, you'll want to expect delays as you head out for your morning drive. We will talk about drive times coming up in my next traffic report, Carolyn. All right, Rubes, I'll take it. Let's pick up our team coverage right now. Wake up, Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw. She's live up in Statesville. And Billie Jean, uh, you've been here in Charlotte any amount of time. You always know that right there along where you are, that interstate is often a dividing line between who sees snow and who doesn't see snow. Uh, what are you seeing right now? 
Hey, good morning, Ben. Right now, we are seeing a snowy, rainy mix. So I'm going to step over here and show you exactly what the view is. If you look at the ground, you can see that when the snow is hitting the ground, it is turning into rain. It's melting. So nothing is sticking right now. I will tell you, on my drive in around 3.30 uh, this morning, uh, the snow was coming down heavy. So there have been periods where we will see heavy snowfall, then it'll stop, then it will turn to rain. Um, but it is still what people would probably consider enjoyable right now, but I do want to warn you, warn you that two to four inches is expected to fall in this area, so things could get a little bit more difficult, especially if you plan on hitting the roads. Uh, to make things a little easier, the city of Statesville and uh, DOT, they have put a salt brine mixture on the roads. Of course, the city of Statesville controls the city roads, and I know that around uh, five, six o'clock, they were uh, putting a salt brine mixture down. They do have trucks on standby as we speak. We've seen several trucks pass by this morning already downtown Statesville, Statesville here on Broad Street, uh, but they are taking precautions. One of the areas they're focusing the most on uh, are the entryways into the uh, hospital, you know, places where people may need to get in case of an emergency. So we'll keep you updated on everything that's happening in Statesville. Ben, Carolyn, I'll send it back to you.